Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Good morning. By the name of Allah most compassionate, most merciful. Today our lesson will be about zero conditional lesson 4 unit 9 page 113. We use the zero conditional to talk about things that are generally true, especially for laws and rules. For example, if you heat ice, it melts. Do you notice the sentence here? It constitutes of two parts. If you heat ice, it melts. This is the first part. We call it the if clause or the condition. And then we have the comma. And then we have the second part, which we call it the result or the main clause. You can also say when instead of if. When you heat ice, it melts. If it rains, the grass gets wet. Or we can say also, when it rains, the grass gets wet. I want you here also to pay attention for the verb subject agreement. Here we have the subject it and the verb rains in the present sample. We added is because it is singular. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. Do you see here the red color and here the blue color? If you mix red and blue, you get purple. The structure. As I said, the zero conditional constitutes of two parts. The first part, we call it the if clause or the condition. And then we have the second part, which we call it the main clause or the result. Remember, you can use when instead of if. If plus subject plus verb in the present simple. The second part will be subject plus verb in the present simple. In zero conditional sentences, the, se the tense in both parts of the sentence is the simple present. Remember, the if clause can come at the end. Example, if we go to the park, we play on swings. We also can say, we play on swings if we go to the park. For your homework, you have to do exercise 2, page 113 in the pupil's book, and exercises 1, 2, and 3, page 95 in the workbook. May Allah bless you all, stay safe, and remember, the closer you get to Allah, the closer you are to each other.